Hey guys, it's Gabriel here, and welcome back to another speed build. Have not done one of these in a while, but you know what? It's summer, seasons came out, I have the time and the mental capacity to build, and yeah, so here we are, building a home fit for seasons. Now, just a little context, um, the reason why I don't do many builds is again, I'm a very busy person, and also slightly lazy at the same time. Hear me out, hear me out. Okay, so for example, like during school, it was so hard to build. Like, are them building houses for my Let's Plays and all that? That was like really all the time I had and everything or building stuff for my story. And as much as I love to record them, like I had stuff recorded, but then I had problems with them or like I just never had the time to record them. And yeah, but you know what, now it's summer. I'm not as busy, even though I still kind of am because I have like cross country practice in the summer and then um, I've had other things that are week long, like different camps and stuff I do and stuff I volunteer for. And yeah, but like, here we go. I have this build and then I have a mansion build too that I wanna do, but I'm not done with it. And I kind of stopped building because um, even now, like I've been building like before the patch came out that came out today, the 27th or yesterday, I don't remember. And basically, my problem was with wallpapers. It was a nightmare to try to build my house and put wallpapers on because it was lagging so badly because of the seasons patch. But hopefully, I need to update my game, but hopefully they fixed it, I hope. And yeah. Also, some context on this house. Um, this house I'm building is for my um, seasons let's play. It's for one of my characters. And yeah, I, all this, like, no women stuff, he's... It's Tristan, and yeah. Uh, funny story though, when I was playing that part, my game crashed, and I forgot to save the house, so I basically had to redo the whole house. It actually took me, like, I think 20 minutes to do instead of an hour, because I kind of remembered pretty much how it went. So it's slightly different, but pretty much the same, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, that sucked. And yeah. Basically though, like, the thing about this house was I wanted to incorporate some glass roofing, but also, like, make it, like, fit the aesthetic of Willow Creek, which I kind of really didn't do. It's not that fitting. I, it's more of a, it's not even Hamptons. It's kind of like, it's American Suburban. It's an American Suburban. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. I like the kitchen, though. This is my favorite cabinets and, like, set of, like, kitchen stuff, by the way. I would use this, I use this all the time. I probably should go out of my comfort zone and try a different countertop and... Um, pantry set, but, you know, why not? Or, why? Like, this to me is the safest one. I like how it looks, and it's aesthetically pleasing to me. And, yeah. Also, I really liked how it turned out. So, basically, we have, like, um... We have, like, two sunroof areas, and then we have, like, a kind of a greenhouse area for this house. With the goal in mind being that my sim is gonna be focusing on gardening and stuff. Also, why, why did I just, like slur my speech there i can't it's because i'm thirsty for like a drink or something it's the coffee i just had this morning anyway but he's gonna be getting into gardening and yeah because you know seasons and gardening and all that i'm gonna try to get that worked in i don't know how it's gonna work because it's not like i'm gonna switch his aspiration because i still want him to be a food critic and yeah also i tried out the seasons wallpaper did not like it i don't know what to do with it it's more of a cottage cabin themed Wallpaper in that case like it, to me it doesn't match this aesthetic of like this world unless I changed up all the houses to match it So yeah, no, it didn't yeah, it didn't work out. I feel like this would work better for a um, Granite Falls build and yeah, pretty much That's really all I have to say about it Yeah, but I'm really I really like building this stuff. It's really fun. I just wish it wasn't as time-consuming and I don't think I'm really that good of a builder. Like, it's my preference and everything. And I've gotten better at, like, remembering to, like, you know, try different things like gables and um, trims and stuff. And forgot and to put, like, well, I forgot the trash can at one point. I forgot the trash can, but I put it in there. But, like, for example, like, the toilet paper. I don't, like, that's such a small detail, but it always bothers me, like, when I don't have it there. And, like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, how are Sims supposed to, like, 
<laughs> never mind. It's it's really dumb. But does anyone like understand or get that? By the way, I really also love um what's that called? That trim or that boarding thing and how it works with the um pillars and stuff. It's really nice. Also, like I like his backyard and stuff and how it's going and like the pool. I think I did a nice job. And it's a fairly nice house. I'm pretty sure it's like 99,000 simoleons. Kind of wish it was a little bit more expensive because all these houses back here are more expensive, but it's whatever. Also, another cool thing is that roller rink um, to the left of us that's placed there in the world. I really like that. That's really cool. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. So far, I really like Seasons and it makes The Sims 4 feel so different. It's really amazing. I think a lot of people said this too, though. Also, there's the lagging going on, I think, from the wallpaper. To me, it's so amazing how, like, this one expansion can just change a game entirely, like, graphically and aesthetically, if that makes sense. And yeah, I'm looking forward to what other content we're going to be getting in the future. Like, let's see, it's almost July, which means we're about to be in quarter three of this year. Now, we don't get quarterly teasers anymore, but I'm just really curious for what packs to get. As for packs, like, I really want, I really want, like, a bathroom focus, um stuff pack that gives me some really cool like bathroom stuff i don't know though like what like new item or object would be added to the bathroom but it's just like i want more like cool i want more like bathroom stuff that's really cool and unique if that makes sense and i feel like that's what like each stuff pack is focused on like a room and stuff and like we have a kid's room Ooh, i kind of want to master suite stuff like we've had i think in the was it sims 3 or sims 2 i don't remember because i didn't well i don't really play those two games even though i have them and yeah i just like stuff packs that focus on the living room the bedroom and the bathroom because we've had the kitchen worked on we've had the actually movie hangout was kind of living room but to me i saw more of an outdoor bohemian stuff a lot of outdoor, we've had a lot of outdoor based packs, like toddler stuff was kind of outdoor. Ooh, another toddler oriented pack and a kid oriented pack. I don't know, I want a more toddler oriented pack that's more like, more like indoor themed and stuff, or a game pack. As for how to expand the toddlers, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it's whatever. Anyway, I don't want to go ranting on this because, you know, I, this could be a good like video idea that I could do. And yeah. Also, I really love these little like UV ray things I have for the um, greenhouse. I just put them there because I wanted like some nice like de decor objects for the house and spruce it up a bit. And I'm kind of proud of it. I'm really proud of like how this house I think turned out. It's not like I don't hate it for once. Well, I never hate my houses, but I just feel like they're not as good. And yeah, by the way, this is not on the gallery if you're curious because um, I love as much as well as much as I love to post things on the gallery, it doesn't really show up because all of my custom content and it gets labeled as the cc in it even though i'm pretty sure there is no cc so yeah i mean i could just go post it up there but like not many people will see it unless they look on my um enable cc um tag and then they'll find it but yeah what did i do here yeah again wallpapers were painstaking and it was annoying oh yeah i did the dining table so yeah as for like my let's play um, I like my, se my season let's play. I'm excited for it, but like, I don't know where I want to go with it. <laughs> Cause like, I have this whole thing planned out for like C City Living 2. I want it to be all like dramatic and stuff and make a story. And I'm still trying to do that with seasons, but it's going to be different because I want to incorporate the gameplay. So I want, so instead of going all like dark and political and focusing on like the politics and stuff of Sam my shoe no I'm not going towards a more family oriented like pack or like gameplay where like now everyone's like settled down and they're living their family lives and all that and and actually not everyone's settled down I feel like Tristan has not fully settled down yet especially because his especially because uh, Akira is out touring and stuff and He's kind of just like alone in the house and stuff with um, Fifi, his pet raccoon. So yeah, there's that. But for the most part, I feel like the Belushis and the Bianchi Greys have settled down pretty well. As for more kids, I have no idea if, they're, if we're gonna have more babies and stuff in the future and stuff. Like I know, let's see, the Bianchi Greys have three kids already and then 
the Belusis have their two kids. So yeah. And as for what direction to go, I'm not so sure. Because of... What's the word? I can't think of the word. Oh yeah, well, I don't really have a word. I can't think of like what I was thinking there. <laughs> like I have plans. I have plans of where I want my story to go. As I just need to figure out how to do it and how I want to, like how to execute it, if that makes sense. So yeah, I will, I've been talking for only 10 minutes and <laughs> yeah, I still have like another seven more minutes. So cool guys, um, yeah. Oh, I guess, have I talked about how school went? I don't remember or not. I don't know if I did that in a past video, but you know what? I'm going to talk about it anyway. So, exams were terrible. I hated every single one. My Spanish one was a nightmare. Still got an A on it. Had no idea what I was doing. My chemistry was also a nightmare. Got a C on it, but still kept to be in the class, which is all I cared. I could have practically failed that test and still got a B, and that was my goal. There's, I would have tried to get an A, but... I had to get like 120% and that was basically impossible. So, yeah. I didn't like my teacher anyway. Um, everything else was easy. My English exam. <laughs> that was the best thing ever. So my English teacher, she doesn't really like exams. She doesn't believe in them, which thank you. Because like, we just did a huge like 200 point like presentation on one of our units so it was really pointless for her to give us an exam so basically what she did was she gave us these cute little like mini like writing notebooks and we walked outside for like a good 30 minutes and then we just wrote a page like t a page front and back about our outside experience which was really easy i just wrote a bunch of rhymes and stuff especially for camp because um it was the day was no i it was i was a couple days out from going to my favorite like camp camp this year and I'm a I was a counselor in training if anyone knows what that is can relate please comment down below if you guys know what that is I feel like it's really hard for me to explain sometimes to some people unless they've been to camp before and, and know what that is but yeah I was excited for that that's like that was stuck in my head all week I just want to get my week done so I can go there and have a fun relaxing I want to say relaxing because I saw to like do a job it was still like a job but it was nice I enjoyed it I'll talk about it in another video if that's your interest um but yeah i wrote camp rhymes and like not and camp songs in my notebook for a little bit because yeah it's whatever i could do that and it works it was very long probably made a lot of grammatical errors but she didn't care got me 100 percent. cool done with that social studies got over 100 percent because i got the extra credit right because history to me is not hard because I have a good general sense of history because I met one kid that goes on YouTube and watches like history documentaries when I'm bored because I find them interesting. So that's how I generally know a lot of things. And, that, and it's just a class for me that I like to learn and listen to and I soak up the knowledge pretty well. And yeah, that was good. Spanish was a nightmare. Animation class, cakewalk, 100%. Actually, I got 100% on everything. I got 100% the third, fourth, and my final. I'm so proud of that. I got an A plus in that class. Um, Spanish, again, told you it was a nightmare. I think that was it because I only had six classes. And that was a cakewalk. And then for the last day of our, the last day of school, I threw a party where we burned all of our chem notes because we all hate chemistry. And it was great. I was like so happy when like that test ended. It was my very last test, the chem test. And it was like the last test in general. So when that ended, I was so happy. Like, sophomore year, for me, was the worst year of my life when it came to school. And now I'm really scared for junior year. Fingers crossed it's a little bit better, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> That's why I'm going to just enjoy the summer. And, yeah. and it's been very enjoyable because it's only the fourth week and it's felt like I've been out of school for, like, almost triple that. So cool. Enjoying it. Deep breath. I got very, like, enthusiastic about that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. So, summer's been good. You know, I went to that camp, and then I went to a sports camp for one of my sports, and I'm probably gonna go to this another one later on. Well, I have two different ones, and yeah. Does that. And then everything else is kind of boring. I went out with friends a little bit, and then I stopped. And then, this, at the end of this week, I'm going to my favorite, um amusement park which is Cedar Point by the way if you ever get the chance to go there it's so much fun if you, 
Like, to your point, I feel like not many people, unless you're like a coaster enthusiast, know about it because like it's in Ohio and I feel like not that many people know much about Ohio other than the Cleveland Cavaliers, maybe. Uh, or that we have like the worst football team in the NFL. Just saying. And yeah. Welcome to welcome to Ohio. But yeah, I'm going to see your point. Really excited. Gonna ride that their new roller coaster Seal Vengeance again. Um first time I went on it, it was a school field trip with my school. I um I waited three hours for the ride because I only had one train going at the time, and it was great. The wind blew in my eyes to cause me to tear up, but then I wouldn't stop like tearing up because that's how much I love the ride, with tears of joy. That's how, that that's sad because yeah. And then literally for like every time someone asks me about it, <laughs> that that that's what happens. I like breathe heavily and I'm like you have, and I get like very emotional about it because that's how great it was. It was beautiful. That ride. I had never been on a ride that has given me so much airtime in my life. And, like, it was very good airtime. Not painful ones, like Magnum XL200. If you've been to Cedar Point, you'll understand what I'm talking about exactly. Or, um, what's another one? That hurts my thighs. No, pretty much Magnum XL200. It was great. Also, for a second, back to game. I love that I'm able to downgrade, like, flowers and stuff. It helps make arrangements look so much better. And, yeah. Anyway, though, back to Cedar Point. It was beautiful. That ride, art, best ride in the world, hands down. Someone can fight me on that, I swear. If you say like, oh no, Fury 3 to 5 is better, wrong, you're wrong. Just because it's taller and faster and more forceful. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't even say forceful. Seal Vengeance does have some pretty good like forces on it. and But yeah, you can fight me on that. Anyway, guys, though, that's going to be it for me talking because we're pro we're about to reach the end of this video. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe much to me. Comment down below if you know what a CIT means. And if you go to, date, if you go to like, if you go, like, to a camp or anything like that and tell me your favorite memory or something. And, yeah, I hope to see you guys all in another video. So, bye, guys.